The Mediterranean Decision Support System is dedicated to strengthening of maritime safety by mitigating the risks and impacts associated with oil spills. The online system is a tool that allows one to compute a trajectory for oil spills based on a forecasted meteo ocean data. The more precise the input data, the more precise the oil drift forecast will be. Upon logging in, the user is presented with the user interface panel. Within the Run Simulations tab, the user enters the oil spill description as well as sets simulation settings. The oil spill geometry has to be defined either by uploading a satellite file, by manually entering the coordinates in decimal or degree notation, or by drawing it on the map. Apart from the basic functionality to zoom and pan over the region of interest, it also allows for the definition of an oil spill in the form of single point. Multiple points, single polygon, multiple polygons, or as a mixed source, that is, multiple single points or polygons. The depth of the oil spill in metres, zero in the case of a surface slick. The duration in hours of the spill release, and the total amount of spilled oil in meters cubed, together with the date and oil spill detection start time, are to be inputted in the respective fields beneath the control map. When the above steps have been completed, click on the Add Oil Spill button. Multiple oil spills can be defined by repeating this process. Changes to the submitted spill parameters are possible at this stage through the Edit Oil Spill button. Use Remove Oil Spills to remove the selected oil spills from the local list. As soon as the oil spill description panel is filled, the MEDES 4MS system automatically selects the best ocean, wind and wave models that are available for the given oil spill positions. The best guess is made by localization and accuracy of the models. These can be changed. The domains of such models will be shown on the map as one highlights a particular model. The ocean model domain in blue, wind model in red, and wave model overlaid in green. The required oil spill model needs to be selected from one of the available models. General settings of the simulation are then to be entered on the oil spills general data panel a name, specifically four characters long, which will identify the submitted run, is to be entered in the simulation name field. An oil type can be selected from the list in the drop-down menu, or a custom density can be inputted in this field. Backtracking mode can be selected at this stage. The required length of the simulation in hours and the output interval in hours are also required to be specified. You are now ready to click Run the Simulation button. A message will confirm that the simulation is running. You can now use the Reset Interface button to restore the original default settings for the interface. The user can now switch to the Simulation Output tab. When the ingestion status appears as completed in the simulation output tab, you will see five action buttons and the user can either download the input file by clicking the green button, download the output file by clicking the blue button, download the output data in NetCDF format from the orange button, visualize the image results on the web map via the map button. This operation will take longer the higher the number of displayed layers or download the output data as images by clicking the global button. A navigation tool on the top right corner displays cursor on map, coordinate values and by clicking on the button shows a navigation map. Fixed GIS data layers can be enabled or disabled as required. The wave height and direction layers, ocean speed and direction layers, 
and wind speed and direction layers can also be visualized.